right now at Red Bull Kumite Las Vegas. He's dressed for the part. Yo, He's, look, it is Vegas. Yeah. It is Vegas. Geese is dressed for some Vegas I might have, to take, Vegas I, I might have lifestyle. to take a note. The best, looking clean and getting this first blood, getting this positioning, asserting dominance easily right now. Blocks the low, gets a cheeky little punish, and the, the consistency right now. No, that's exactly absolutely true. I like the back four right there. Me in a bad position with his back to this wall. No meter either. So even if he gets that hit, he's getting dangerously close. Oh, there it is. Oh, just repeatedly tapping the socks. Oh, what a block and a punish. Ooh. Mm, that one, one, two. Ooh, matching the side steps right now. Does not want to let him off the wall. Does not want to let him out of this corner. Trying to control the entire real estate right now, but. JDCR's defense is still holding strong despite having his back against the wall this whole round. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the whole round, it. there it is. I cursed it. I you cursed it. I'm sorry. Cursed it. You definitely cursed it. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Two rounds for me right now. Once again, this is a first of four. This is first of four. No more. Yes. All the intel. Plenty of time for adjustments right now. Mmm. Wavel, wavel into the low. Very simple mix-up. Is it a low? Is there a mid? No break on the throw. Wow. Side steps to down three. Nah, not this time, bro. Get off of me. Mmm. Tries to duck in between it. Oh, no. Oh, and huh? that might cost him. Nice block on the low. Oh, big needed. counter hit. He's and in rage. Oh, no. Answer. Oh, get up. Are we taking a nap? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. That was I'm sorry. Close. That was close. I had to that grab first. I was so scared. <laughs> Things are getting excited. All right. Oh my god. That was only the first game. That was the first game. You still got a few more, Steve. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right. Don't you tell me what to do. <laughs> Security. I'm tired of saying this. Get this man out of this. You know, I'm gonna stand on this side of Steve because wow. I feel more likely I'm not gonna be in immediate danger. Oh, this is my grabbing arm right here. There is a hole right there, <laughs> all right? I'm not trying to. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Don't, don't do that, don't do that. All right, yeah, that was our first game, though, already action packed. It was kind of explosive each round. Dude, you saw in, in the later sides of that round, you can see where he was really just kind of getting overextending just a bit to say, like, hey, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? And he's sticking with the geese on top of that. And that's very odd because I feel like the way the JDCR was playing that, he had a very good read on a few things that he was going for. So. Absolutely. But it's a whole new game. Sometimes you can't let the last round affect you. And it's looking like JDCR is doing a good job of that so far. Mm -hmm. It seems like he's, he's getting there, but the fact is, is that knee just resets that neutral once again. Get these exactly. big hits, gets the stunner with the back four. Sunday has been paying off big today for sure. Oh, get off of me. Yeah, those back four is really good for catching the crouches. You can see him checking with the down four one. Oh, wow, what a jab. The adjustments from JDCR. Mm -hmm, Look how mm -hmm. clean that was. Barely took a hit. Just the pokes, nothing more. I mean, sometimes that's all you need. Try to get too fancy, it might turn around to bite you. Like we saw before, he tried to get a nice duck, a nice punish in between the string. It ended up costing him. Down 4 2 block and the punish. And look at how comfortable Knee is playing at the zero range in a lot of instances. Go oh, down two. Get off of me. Breaks the throw. Get off of me, bro. Answer yourself. Not falling for it. Mm, looking for the mid. Look at how patient they're playing. 23 seconds left on the clock, and Knee has a strong life lead right now. 17 seconds left on the clock. One, one, two to stop the approach. And you can already tell when he was looking for it. And was off the controller when he hit him with the one, one, two on the punish. Honestly, I think about half of his life was to that one, one, two that round, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it's that slow, simple play, right? Mm -hmm. And getting the throw. And now you can see JDCR getting clipped a couple of times, even with these throws and just these small pokes starting to add up. Oh, wow. See, got a little bit anxious right there. Runs into the second hit of that string. And he had meter, so now you know it hurts. Exactly. Here, clipping the feet. Oh, down 4-2. Big damage. You're going to get the wall back. 
Oh, look at the damage right there. He is enraged. 4-4 four, four blocks the low and the punish, and Lee didn't even flinch. Wave a wave low. Extremely close round. Me, one round away from taking. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. We are in the top four bracket. Mm -hmm. We're getting these first to fours this time. First around. to four. It's you love jab. to see it. Back three, tries to finish the string. JDCR is going to hold the defense, hold the ground right now. Looking mm. for a whip punish, nothing big. And those mids are not working out. Me is literally just not giving it to him. Just not giving it to him. He's like, yeah, I know you're looking for the mid. <laughs> Oh, no, breaks the giant swing. Does get the better positioning off of that break, though, so that's that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. That's 100% true. I wasn't even thinking about that. The punch reversal on top of it. Oh, wow. Thought he was going to look for the low this time around. Down to 10 seconds left on the clock. Rage is there, though. Oh, oh Rage my Art. Goodness. Oh, my God, JDCR with five seconds left. Oh, you're dead. Uh. Oh my goodness. He just had to see the human pogo in this bad boy, bro. Make him watch it. <laughs> Make him watch. Last round of game number two right now. Geese versus Armory. Oh, oh huge elbow. We're going to toss some plasma his way. I love the control at multiple ranges with Geese, actually. No, the thing is, you are respecting him a lot because you still have to look for the projectile. Mm -hmm. Not the best tool in the game, but still something that's good at controlling the neutral. Sidestep hop kick, one of the go-tos for JDCR. He's going to get the wall. All right, no follow-up, though. He got the positioning. Mm. JDCR looking to get this round. Get off of me. Mm -hmm. Hands off hands off the armor, bro. I just had it shine. <laughs> oh, wow, could have parried that. Looking for the four, one plus two, quick ducks. Jab to stop the pressure while standing four. Oh. Oh, 15 seconds down to again. Rage is there. We can see the same situation possibly, but we know he is looking for one, two, mm. another one. Steady. Another one. And he is in business mode right now. I mean, when you think about it, when it comes to the round ending moments, a lot of people like to go for these lows. They like to go for these uh, cheeky plays that they think that will be a beneficial in these high pressure rounds. But no, the patience, the one, one, two, just a couple little jabs in the face is just enough to close it out. And honestly, when you're fighting against someone like that and none of your mix ups, none of your open ups are working, you're getting out space, yeah, you're just true. taking little that's damage true. here and there, you start to get a little bit anxious about how you're gonna fight this moving forward. So we're at 2 0 now. No, it's easy to get frustrated, especially in a matchup like this. And this is one of the things I was talking about with you earlier. Knee will wait. Like, he will yeah. act, He will literally be like, oh, I got the lead. All day. We're going to be here all day. All day. Fight. Okay, going into round game number three now. Mm. And looking for something big right there. That while standing one, not going to do anything. And look at Knee, just dashing up mm -hmm. into his face and like, yo, give me something. Give me something to work with. Tries to go for the punch parry, and it is just not working. Mm. There oh, we the go. Stunner. Down three. Counter hit on top of it. Do it again. Yeah. If it works, it works. You hear me? <laughs> Dude, I said do it again. Ooh, I think JDCR is being very mindful about staying away from the wall. Even if he feels like he's getting close, the side steps coming in to make sure we're staying in this mid-screen area. Spacing a little bit. Still breaking the throw. 20 seconds left on the clock. Armor King in rage. JDCR in rage. A hit here, a clean hit, can kill either one of these players. Time's a ticking, Steve. Ten Time's seconds. a ticking. Both players in rage now. Oh, oh, got to watch out. Down 4-4. Four, four. Oh, oh, what a block. What were we just talking about, Steve? People want to go for those lows this year. You definitely said that. They want to. Because that's the easiest way out, right? You're like, they're never going to see the low coming. 4-4, <laughs> four, four, going for the mid. And they're definitely aware that both of them want to start game aiming for these ankles now, too. Yup, just like that. We're seeing some major adjustments, though, from both of these players. But it's going to be me that's going to get the first big combo here. Mm -hmm. And there's definitely matches that I've seen between some of the best players in the world that literally end with no combos. Nothing but pokes, small punishes, jabs, low, stuff like that. It can happen. So it never, adds up. And never underestimate the pace of a match, you know? Absolutely. Oof, while standing four. Nice. Low parry this time, gets the down four three. Wants the most from it. Oh. 
Oh, down four, three. Okay, okay. Starting to mix in a, a few lo slower lows this time around, and it's starting to work out. Playing a very respectful range right now. Had to spin the bar to keep himself safe here. Got great positioning against the wall. However, I'm seeing some amazing composure here from JDC. Spent his entire max mode on block stuff, thinking that JD was gonna swing. Ooh. Yo, we're down to 10 seconds left in the again, round again. Again, and it is so close. Bro, get off get of me. Get off. Oh, oh, he went for it again, and he got it this time. JDC are in rage, but again. Bro, again. the spacing. The easy, nice and easy hits. One ones, one ones, use. you know, the whole, the, these fists right here, they've got it. They've got it. <laughs> Going slow. This is, see, this is exactly mm -hmm. it. This is what can get JD back in this game, this slower paced game, and he knows that he is looking for something. And just slow paced jabs. Still, just about 30 seconds left on the clock at this point. JDCR, though, he's trying to stay close. Trying to stay close enough to get a stunner. That's going to set up some more game plans for him. But he's actually staying so patient that he's not going for anything big. Look how much life is left, and look how much time is yes, left. Yes, exactly. Like, it, this is definitely going to be a time match. No, no one can win by damage alone. Less than 10 seconds on that clock, oh but there it god, is. Oh my god, the last second, five seconds, three seconds. Oh my god. No rage, you, can't, nope. you cannot run that back. Three. Wow. Get, oh my god. Hands down, the slowest round we've seen today. Like I said before, you get matches in Tekken that literally end with nothing but pokes, small pokes, low stuff like that. It can't come to that point. And once again, what I said at the beginning of this Tekken tournament, Knee will wait. He <laughs> will wait. You say you open at what? 10:30. It's only five. I'll wait. Yep. That clock. Like that's him. That's that him. That clock is assist one, pretty much, because you can get it to work in your favor as long as you are playing patiently like that. He really was not giving up anything. He wasn't overcommitting to anything, and he was kind of just waiting and reacting. And who cares if it takes the whole round because he had the life lead the yeah, entire no, time. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> and like a lot of times in that situation, you want the round to end and you get like rage. But in that instance, it was so much life left that you couldn't even get boosted damage because of the rage. And I felt like in that situation, it's kind of in Geese's favor because he can do chip damage with the projectiles. Yep. And spinning that max meter just to get a little chip damage mm -hmm. unearths no matter who you're playing. That's how you got that open, and then that was so smart. If you look back, that's what actually got that match for me was the fact that he was willing to spin all that max gauge on two block fireballs. Exactly. All right, going into match number four, potentially the final match. Bro, this is looking like JD is not going to get a game here, and I don't want to say that. I don't even want to see that. Look at that, just dashing forward, committing to the lows, oh. catches him ducking this time, back forward and gets the stunner. And then following up with the low because he just got hit by the stunner, very smart. But still, the, the, the health bar is so even. Mm -hmm. 33 seconds left. Just oh, like that, half want, the round gone. Right? You gotta keep it in mind too. JD starting to slow the pace of this round even more, and now life lead just slightly. Mm -hmm. The life bars are still virtually identical to four, four hits, 20 seconds on the clock. Oh, oh break! Goodness. Oh my God! Catches JDCR moving in the backfield, and if JD doesn't change something around, my man might be going home early. He just might be. It's always a feels bad moment when he's been breaking every throw except for the ones in the potential final match. Okay, back to this mid screen range. Lots of down four Ooh. ones. Actually sidesteps the back four. Don't, looking for the stunner. He says, I ain't taking it no more. No more. I've seen enough. Double I've got the answers. Sidestep to get away from the wall. Keeping it aware. Nice. Counter hit confirmed right there. Oh, this is Sparta. Down four one to check. Needs to be careful. Nice. Low parry. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say, we don't see JDCR use that down 1-4 with Orman King. It's a high crush, checks a lot of lows, and it doesn't get you much, but you gotta respect it in some instances. I see him committing to the lows, but I don't see him using it. I'm, I'm really interested in what. Back four. 
And look, now Knee taking it down another pace. Like, you know what? You're used to pace two. Yeah. We're going to go to pace one. <laughs> Even slower right now. And this small life lead is actually massive it's in massive. context That's with actually what's true. going on. Could not have said it better myself, Persia. Oof. While standing four. Okay, nice. Nice, we take those. We'll take every hit we can get exactly. right now. Yo, we're almost to the 20 second mark of this match though. He's down three, starting to add up. Armor King in trouble right now. He's not even gonna be able to get rage. You know what I'm doing? If I'm JDCR, I'm trying to, I want you to hit me so I can get rage. Exactly. Uh, uh, oh, this is big damage. But now. Oh, three seconds. Shoot. Oh my God. No! Oh my goodness, JD's here had the life lead there towards the end, but took a few more hits after that. And once again, assist one and for knee came into play in terms of the clock. JDCR is in desperate trouble right now. Uh-oh. Trying to play it just slow to a crawl. Really trying to make knee get out of that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And legit, his hand is not moving on the controller some of these times. Literally just waiting for the day. Okay, while standing one. Oh, back one, two. He really is conditioning him yeah. with these standing ones right now, and it's really setting the whole tone for the neutral. Jabs just to keep him standing up. Not gonna want him to commit to some of these lows. One more hit, activate. Mm. I love the use of meter into nothing because he doesn't have to do anything. We're at 10 seconds again. Both players in rage, but that is it. And JDCR will be going home. And knee.